You're a busy person, so why not hire Jarvis to do all the work? In this video, I'm going to show you how to rewrite your blog posts quickly using conversion.ai. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin Smack, and let's go ahead and just get started. I'm going to show you how to rewrite a already existing blog post inside of conversion.ai. We're going to start off by choosing the long form assistant and then choose blank document. For this example, I'm going to turn off power mode and just leave it in here. You can do that by clicking on the eye up here. So Gizmodo is a website that has a whole lot of ads. I do use Brave Browser. I don't know if you've heard of it. It is a tool that I use and I consider it very important. It shows the shield here and blocks 11 ads or cookies or pop-ups or anything that's trying to pop up. This minimizes the page for you and keeps you a lot more secure. When copying a post from another site, it helps because it gets rid of all the junk. Not an affiliate or anything like that. I just use it. It's amazing. It's better than Google Chrome. It's based off of Chromium, which is what Google Chrome is based off of. So it's going to be very similar, just more secure. So here we have tons of invisible asteroids and comet dust fall on us every year. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here and paste it. So you're going to see this is really bold and big and we don't really want to mess with things. So I'm going to control Z, control Z does undo. And then I'm going to control shift V. What that does is it gets rid of all the formatting for you automatically. All the links and anything you want gone will be gone. So now we're going to copy the article. Just going to highlight that and go down to here. We do got some other stuff here, but we'll take it out here. So now that we're here, we're going to do control shift V again. And it's going to post it. Let me just see here. Read more. We want to remove and subscribe to newsletter. Read more. And subscribe to newsletter. Sign me up. is an image, I think it's fair use. We'll remove that. All right, so now we have the base document. Before we go any further, I wanna say, I don't think you should go through and rewrite articles, but it is up to you. And it is a possibility with Jarvis, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. People refer this as spun content. Basically, you're taking someone else's article, rewording it. Now, as long as it's not duplicate, content you will be fine you may ask what google's stance is on this google basically says if someone rewrites your article and it's better and it ranks better then shame on you <laughs> so with that in mind you can make this better and not get in trouble as long as you're strictly not copying and plagiarizing i always say run this through a copy write program like copyscape to make sure everything is good before you go that route. So now what we want to do is we want to rewrite it. So we're just going to highlight the title and we want to rephrase this, but we want to be very careful when it comes to titles and subheadings. This article does not have any subheadings. It just has a title. So it's not very search intent. Plus it's a very small article. So we're just going to rephrase here. A lot of times I find the first rephrase is not good, but we'll see. Meteorites and space dust fall on us every year. Um, that's not bad. We'll go with that. Now what I do is sentence by sentence, I go through and rewrite. All you do is click this yellow, click and wait. And then you read this. And then you read this and make sure that it covers most of what you want. If it's missing a phrase, you need to either type it yourself, which I usually don't do, or regenerate. This try again button doesn't end. You can hit this nonstop. Let's go again, because it was a little too short, so it probably didn't cover everything. Here it has Earth Planetary Science Letter involved. So this is good. So now we can go ahead and select that. That's that sentence. And then we can go to the next. If there is a little junk at the end, I usually remove it. 
but this one's not that. So let's try and reword again. So this is good, but it doesn't have the research station name, but we're going to go with that anyway. The thing is, uh, we lost it. <laughs> and that's a valuable lesson there. You don't want to click off because if you click off, you're going to lose your phrasing. So now we got to rephrase because we lost that one. This one looks good. Let's go ahead and choose this. It does have the station in this time. All right, that works. So this is how we're doing it. And we're going to go through and write all this article because I want to show you exactly how it goes to the end. But before we go any further, let me just put a space here. What we could do is we could go back to here and, you know, if we really wanted to Google this, Gizmodo's number one. So on this page, we'll go to say Cosmic Dust. We can click on this and people might not know what Cosmic Dust is. So we can also copy this information here. Copy, and then we'll go in here. Where's the cosmic dust going to be referenced? It looks like it's going to be referenced around here. So maybe we'll just put this here. Control Shift V. We're adding Shift to get rid of the formatting because there was a lot of formatting. And here you go. Co cosmic dust, also called extraterrestrial dust or space dust, is dust which exists in outer space or has fallen to Earth. So that is really nice to have. We don't need that. And what we're doing here is we're improving the article. We're getting more words, we're getting more information, and we're taking stuff from the first page of Google so it works. You can put this in Surfer SEO as I showed in my first video. If you haven't seen my first video, I'll link it up top and at the end of this video. But basically, Surfer SEO tells you what you need to rank first, assuming your site has relative domain authority. All right, we don't wanna to go too deep into this for this article. So we're going to remove that. We're going to rewrite this. Uh, I don't like that. That's a little too vague. That's going to be too vague too. I want something larger. Cosmic dust is a relatively new term for many people previously referred to as space dust or extraterrestrial dust. I want something about fallen to earth in this because that's important. I think that's good enough. If you ever find a sentence that is short, you can use it and just be more creative with it. I'll show you that in the next sentence. Okay, there's not going to be a lot they can do with this, but they can reword it some ways. There we go. That's good enough. Uh, large particles are called meteorites. So instead of rephrasing this, since this is short, let's add more words and let's make it more creative. And that's too short, so let's go even larger. Meteoroids are all different, and some people can some can be huge. They range in size from pebbles to boulders, and amass stones the size of towns. Um, I don't like the continuation there. I think we need something a little better. There we go, large particles are called meteorites. All right. Let's accept this and then we're gonna go back. Now we got extra stuff and we're gonna rephrase this anyway. All right, there we go. <laughs> That is an interesting one. We'll do that. So you can see how this can easily write articles. Now, I'm explaining it to you, and I'm at about 13 minutes. I mean, I'm sure I edited this, so you probably aren't at 13 minutes yet. How many words are we in? Plus, we got another article. We redid the title. All right, 154. So I am going slow in explaining it, but 
you could probably do a thousand word article in about an hour. So if you think about going to a website and just copying it and making it your own, it's possible. It's frowned upon called spun content. And people always say you should do your research, but with Jarvis, it does make it possible. And you can always interweave another article in with it and take that extra. If you're ever writing a long article and you just can't figure out another paragraph, I suggest doing the technique, going to Google, Googling it, looking up the pages, finding an article that has a few paragraphs that are not in your article, bring it in, make it another header, and rewrite it. Then you'll be over the words and it'll help out. We'll do these three paragraphs and then we're gonna be done here. Again, you're just looking for the keywords. I'll leave that there. Is that the same one? Sometimes it gives you pretty much the same thing. That's very similar, so we're going to spin that again. And again. That's good enough. I recommend doing it sentence at a time. Some people can do two sentences. I guess if there's not much information, two sentences will be okay. But like this article is very informative. So we have to do it one by one. You ever stop highlighting early, just hold shift and click where you want it to stop? I'm sorry, I'm such a slow reader. No, that's not right. Make sure it's right, too. You don't want to put, like, incorrect facts. Sometimes it might say a negative when it's a positive or a positive when it's a negative. It might have the word not, for example, and it shouldn't. You could always take that statement and just remove the word not. Just remember to do that. I'm trying to find one with the 80%. Good enough. And Grammarly will pick up all these periods and stuff too for me. Now that we're done, we're all set. I would run your completed article through Copyscape to make sure that there's no issues with any copyright issues. If there is, you could just fix them and reword those sentences. It's always good to do that. We find that copyscape.com is the best one, and I've used it, and it does really well. That's how you rewrite an article. So I hope this helped. If so, please hit that like button. Let me know. If it didn't help, hit the dislike. So I have an idea if you like these videos or not. Appreciate it so much. Hope you learned something. Thanks for the view.